a nightmare, really, that I've never quite woken up from. To this day, she still haunts me, and I think she always will. But back then, we were just kids, playing a kid's game, and somehow, it all went wrong. One o'clock, the ghost is in here. Two o'clock, the ghost is in here. Three o'clock, the ghost is in here. Four o'clock, the ghost is in here. Five o'clock, the ghost is in here. Six o'clock, the ghost is in here. Seven o'clock, the ghost is in here. up there. Let's go find out. Look at all the
Please tell me. you going to say this time? Why don't you ask me yourself? Hey. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, it is. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, it's good to have you home. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Give me that. You take oh, your box upstairs. You want some tea? I just bought some yeah. water. I like that kid, Reed. Yeah? Yeah. You should call him. <laughs> Why would I call him? Why would anybody call anyone who cares that way about someone else? Okay, stop. You're crazy. I'm just <laughs> saying that, you know, he stuck by you through a lot of this stuff, and it ain't because you guys are friends. We're close friends, but mm -hmm. we've just always been friends. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure, whatever you say, but I'd, uh, I'd suggest you stop staring at his picture then. I just found it in the box. Right. Let's check it out. You. I believe you. Good luck with that. Can you go away now? Okay, goodbye. Dead girl supposedly haunts it. My dad says there's no ghost. Oh, well, then if there's no ghost, why don't you ride through it? Don't do it, man. Come on, Tommy. Don't make me dare you, please. I'm not afraid.
Hey, sweetie. Did you, um, happen to get the newspaper? Uh, no, I, I didn't, but I did make the coffee. <laughs> wow, it's nice having you home. Oh, I got it. Hey. Hi, Sally. Uh, can I, uh, come in? Uh, yeah, of course, come on in. Yeah. Well, hello there, Mr. Hugglesworth. Oh, hey, Mr. Uh, Sullivan. Uh, how you doing, Ray? Good, good. You? Good, good. How's everything? Parents are doing fine. Uh, you probably know better than I do. Senior year, Sally's back. I mean, what's not to like about it? Uh, so I was thinking I'd take Sally to school today. If that's all right with you? That's very sweet of you, Reed. Isn't that nice, huh, Sally? Yeah, sure um, appreciate it. Hey, guys, I'll be right back. Hey, 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 hey. We got this. Come on, it. You go out there and be a kid, okay? This is your last bit of it, all right? All right. Bring it in. Thank you. Um, all right, well, you ready? Ready. Uh, it was great seeing you again. You too. Right? Bye, Dad. See ya. Bye, Billy. Bye, hey, guys. And she's all over Reed. I thought she was Mrs. Innocent. More like nine months vacation innocent. <laughs> what a girl to do. These revelations from the last chapter of the Bible were given to and recorded by the Apostle John, to warn of the occurrences that could take place in the They had breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings were as the sound of chariots and horses running to battle. And they had tails like scorpions, and they had the power to hurt men over five months. And the king over them was the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew tongue is Bezel. It's pronounced Beelzebub. Beelzebub and Baphomet, and in the Greek tongue, his name is Abaddon, Lucifer. Hi, Sally. Zoe. You look great. Oh, thanks. Is everything okay? We wanted to welcome you back. Are you better? Uh, what do you mean? Do you know what I mean, Sally? You've been away. Everyone knows where. I, I'm, I'm not sure. 
what you're talking about, actually. Listen, I'm trying to be sincere here. I'm trying to be friendly. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, Zoe, that everything that everyone's saying isn't true. Okay, I wasn't in a psych ward or rehab or juvie or whatever. It's not true. Okay, well, we weren't saying that you were, um, but can I ask, where were you? I'd sort of rather not talk about it. Look, a couple of us are going up to the woods after school. Me, Karen, a few others, Reed. You know, me and Reed are kind of a thing now. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Well, I guess there's a lot you don't know about Reed. Some things a pen pal just can't do. Anything else, Zoe? You and I have a lot in common, and there's no reason we shouldn't be best friends. Just come. It'll be fun. Um, I, I, I don't know. I kind of have a lot of stuff I need to do at home, and... So come after. We'll get high. We'll tell some ghost stories. We'll get high. <laughs> you do get high, don't you? Just think about it, okay? We'd really love to see you there. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. Well, we'll see you later. stopped initially right at Martha Shaw's grave. There was a chase ending near the north entryway where he was plunging by a blunt circular object, probably his own damn baseball. I want that damn baseball tee. You hear me? And there was a single set of bare feet that dragged the body into the mausoleum where the body was desecrated. Sick individual, sir. What do you think, like witches or some kind of ritual, satanic in nature? I don't know. Um, just get all that photographed, okay? Yes, sir. about it get your big brother to beat me up I don't need my big brother oh so you want some too Sally I'm not afraid of you well, maybe you should be you're freaking weird oh look she tripped on a ghost ghost in the graveyard one two three ghost in the graveyard can't catch me <laughs>
Natasha. Poor little Tommy. He was my paper boy. I heard the police are investigating her. Really? Why? Think about it. She shows up again and this little kid is killed at Martha's fucking grave. I didn't think of that. Did you see her with Reed? I can't stand that bitch. Aren't we supposed to feel bad for her or something? She thinks who she is, that's for sure. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Who is she? And what is her fucking deal? Think about it. She gets back and this kid is murdered. I mean, part of him left on the freaking grave, man. I... I know you guys are friends. Yeah, but you gotta admit, this is some pretty freaky shit. No, no. Look, I know Sally. At her core, I know she's good. I mean, I know that. <laughs> I mean, whatever. No freaking way, man. Speaking of which, I thought she was coming tonight. Yeah, so did I. to make fun of you. Just saying, I don't know why you're hanging out with these girls. Okay, Billy, I just, I just want to be a part of the group. I just want to fit in with everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not trying to be this freak who keeps seeing a dead girl and gets okay. sent away to what be protected. No. Like everybody thinks I was in like a psych ward or whatever. So. I mean, it doesn't even matter, like, we were all kids, so, it's whatever. I just, I just want to be normal. But you're not. You're special. No, I didn't see anything. My fucking life flashed before my eyes. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. She was standing literally in the middle of the Look, road. You almost killed us. God, I'm so okay. I'm so... Sorry. Sorry.
I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. And there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him. Sally! 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 Um, yes? The face of who? Um, I, I'm sorry, what? You look, there's something different. Like a good different? Yeah, like a great different. Well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> Is there anything else? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you're a great friend. You're, you're nice to everyone, and I don't know how you do it. <laughs> what else? Penmanship? <laughs> Penmanship? <laughs> yeah. You know, all those letters you wrote. All those promises you made. Really great penmanship. Here. Uh, well, actually, um, my dad asked me to do a little research for him, like uh, family tree stuff, uh, war records, police records. Well, hopefully, not a lot <laughs> of those. But yeah, just uh, marriage certificates, birth certificates. I'm sorry, honey, but I'm not allowed to give out that information to minors. You're going to need your father's permission. Oh, really? I mean, I I can call him right now. He, he knows about all this stuff. So, well. I suppose I can do something, but you're just going to need to give me a few days to get everything together. Oh my gosh, no, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me and my dad. Um, okay, great, so I'll see you in a week. 
Sure, Sally. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm glad they're okay. But this whole Tommy Farkas mutilation, the ritualistic element. Um... She's starting to ask questions. I know. I think it's time we consider all the possibilities. Even the worst. You're right. Look, bud, I gotta go. Thanks for the coffee. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna set a patrolman outside. Okay. He's one of us. If you need anything, don't hesitate. Great. Thank you. I can always count on you. Only my friends call me Zoe. What's up, Jade? I found what you were looking for. Really? Yep, I know where Sally Sullivan was that whole time. And believe me, it's good. <laughs> okay. There's something else. Sally and Reed were kind of writing to each other while she was away. You can go now, Jade. Sally, you're back in town. I am, yeah. Back in a uh, good old Mount Moriah. Heaven on earth. <laughs> back a couple days and already bored of uh, home sweet home, huh? Sounds about right. Ah, uh, it's called a uh, teen angst, I guess. It's sort of a right. I mean, you would know. You graduated like 15 minutes ago, right? <laughs> wow. Apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, does it? Yeah, I think she kind of got you there, but <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time either. <laughs> Well, I think I've worn out my welcome. Charlie, I'll look into that item for you. Sally, welcome back. Thanks. All right, thanks, bud. See you later. So, uh, what, was, what was that all about? Oh, um, I'm thinking about putting some security in, you know, and he's, mm -hmm. he's got this little side business, you know. He's, what are you doing? I'm just dropping by. Came to say hey real quick. All right. Well, make yourself cozy. Um, actually, I, I wanted to ask you, um... Yeah? Where was I born? What makes you ask that? Well, I always thought that I was born here in Mount Moriah, right? Ah. Uh, no, actually, you... We're born in Canada, of all places. And we were on vacation, and you decided to come into this world a little earlier than expected. You're a little Canadian goose. I, I, I thought your mother would have told you that. Hmm. Mm, no, I don't. I don't think she did. And I don't really remember mom. So. Do you think she's still alive? Yeah. I know she's still alive. I feel it in here. Is 
Excuse me, do you have any rat poison? Uh, yeah, just this way. Follow me here. Actually, I gotta run real quick, but um, I'll see you later. Oh, okay. All right, I'll, I'll see you around dinner. What do we, uh, what do we got there? <clears throat> oh, that's a nice shovel. Good choice. I like that. That's a prime digger. Charlie. Very good. All right. Bye. What's up? Everything okay? I think it's time. Sally. Hi. Is... Zoe home? Why not come in and we'll see. Oh, I, I can just call her real quick on my cell. It's okay. Sally, please come in and I'll make you some tea. Uh, okay. Well, don't move. I'll be right with you. Did Zoe know you were coming? Um, I thought so. She did, and she didn't tell me. drawn to it now. It calls to you. Yes? I, I was just looking at it. 
We were so misunderstood, Sally Ann. Sally Ann? Well, isn't that what they call you? Are, are, are you gonna get the kettle? You have such beautiful hair, Sally Ann. Like your mother did. May I touch it? <laughs> mother? Sally? What's going on? We were just getting to know one another. Why? Do not meddle with things you don't understand. Um, what's going on? You should go. Zoe? You coming in? I can't. I, I gotta run. But, uh, come here a second. What are you doing here? I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that the door was open and she was crying, so... Did you not see me on the street? I didn't. What were you...
with Oye. I think that together, somehow, you and I can really help Martha. Thank you, Sally. I should probably put this little one to bed now. She's so perfect. Say goodnight, Lily. Right, come with me. Good night, Angel. been hanging out with Reed. <laughs> Have you guys done it? <laughs> Sorry, what? Have you done it? Look, you're in on this plan to free Martha, right? Um, I've actually been doing some research of my own. Okay, remember that name I kept hearing in my dreams a bunch? Beazelbub? Is that such a creepy word? Beazelbub. You shouldn't say it so much. It gives it power. Okay. So, this name that shall not be said. It's one of the six fallen angels sent to Earth to disrupt his, God's, balance. To turn the world against his eleven tribes. To end his earthly family. Are you okay? That's good, Sally. That's really good. What does Beazelbub want? What I think that it wants is you, Sally. Me? I think there's something really special about you. And somehow this demon is working its way through Martha to get to you. Through? Martha? This is, like, insane. I'm not special, Zoe. I'm no one. To free a pure spirit like Martha, a pure spirit must be sacrificed. A blood sacrifice. A sacrifice like what? A sinless creature. Like a rabbit? Mm, I don't think that'll do it. Think bigger. A six foot tall rabbit? What are you, Sally fucking Darko? Okay, I don't know. What are you talking about? Think fucking bigger. Well, if you and Reed haven't done it yet. So you didn't fuck him. You are a virgin. Are you saying you want to sacrifice me? Yeah, but not, like, kill you or anything. We just need to spill... Well, we need to spill your virgin blood onto her grave, say some chants, and then she's free, I think. And you will be, too. It seems simple enough. Zoe, are you... I I'm sorry, are you insane? Spill my blood? Not a lot. It's you, it's after. Not me, not Martha, not Tommy Farkas. Whatever you are, it wants you. So you don't have to tell me your secrets, but you will help Martha. Ow! Ow! No, you're hurting me! Hey. Ow! Sally? Oh. Feeling it. 
rumbling, like there's this disjointed energy. Well, Charlie, look, I think it's time we tell her. She needs to know, and Billy. That's the end of everything I know, Del. I mean, about my family. It ends just like that. Look, we knew this day was coming. Okay? You've done your job. You've done a fine job, Charlie. She's my daughter. I know, and everybody's proud. No one could have nurtured her better than you have. Okay. It's time. Yeah. Thanks. And we got another round. Cheers, man. Thank Even you. if I can get you guys anything else. Yeah. Ted, what is it? There's more to Sally than meets the eye. Dad, what are you saying? She's 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 not entirely your, your sister. Excuse me, what? I've been fearing this day for years, but it's here. And the time has come for me to tell you about your family. To tell you who you are, where you're from, who I am, who Sally is. Dad, you're freaking me out, okay? You're Charlie Sullivan. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? You work at the hardware store. Me. What do you mean, who we really are? Since the beginning of time, there's been a battle being waged on this earth between good and evil. Well, your family is smack dab in the middle of it. I can't believe this. Sally? Yeah. Mom? Yes. So you've been lying to me this whole time. Are you even my dad? Is this yes. even a real family? Yes. And Sally's my daughter. And the time has come for you to help protect her. The time has come to put on the armor, son. Because we're going into battle. Let's do it. The shit's about to hit the fan. I need you, son. You got me? I got you.
ってつかれたいわけないHold on, hold on. Okay, look, Onus is dead, and Sally was seen fleeing the scene into the woods. Well, did you check the house? What about Lily?
Zoe. Hey. Can I come in? Um. I mean, I got soaked, so... You don't have to say anything. Do you know what it means when I do that? I think so. It means that I want you. So glad you found her. It's no problem at all, Charlie. I, I can't thank you enough. It's my job, just doing my job. <sighs> my daughter means everything to me. Uh, okay, thanks. So, thanks for keeping a lookout. I appreciate it, yeah. Okay. All right. Dad? Hey, sweetie. Dad, what's going on? Sweetie. Dad, I need to know if... There's something that you need to tell me. Something else that he's been keeping from me. Oh, God, this is harder than I expected. Dad, I found my birth certificate. Oh, Am I adopted? Why do I not have a last name on the birth certificate. It's complicated. What happened to mom? They got her. Who? Sally. You know that I love you more than anything in the world. I held you the day that you were born, and I have loved you ever since more than any father could. But yeah. Yeah. You're right. 
you were given to us to raise and to protect and to love. Who am I, Dad? You're Sally Sullivan. The daughter of Charlie Sullivan. But you were born for something much bigger. Sweetie, you come from a long, long sacred bloodline. You're one of the descendants of Mary. Yeah, that Mary. That's why we've had to hide you. And that's why they're after you. Who oh, is? Yeah. The bad guys. <laughs> but all of them have one thing in common. And that is that they have the hand of Satan on their shoulder. And his words turn in their ears. We know about this? Only just now. You have to know that all the good that has ever been done on this earth rests upon the safety of your family. And they're after us. And the closer they get to us, the closer we get to the end of days. Like in Revelation? Yeah. And in those days shall men seek death and not find it, and desire to die. And death, death will, will flee, flee from, from them. The night that Martha died, that was supposed to be you. But they didn't want to just kill you. They wanted to sacrifice you. And maybe if that had happened, I don't know what I'd do. It'd be the end of the world. But sweetie, you're my daughter. And you will always be my little girl. Now I have something for you. This actually came with you. This is yours. This was blessed by Mary in France after she fled Jerusalem from the very hands that are chasing after you. This is your family heritage. What are you, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go kill some witches. Sweetheart, whatever you do, do not leave this hospital. You understand that? I, I do, yeah. You promise? I promise. Okay. Okay, I love you. I love you.
going to believe this. Now what? Sally Sullivan just escaped from the emergency center. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Plan on doing some work today? Shit's about to go down. I think I know where. Get your weapon. I don't know if you're a religious man or not, but if I were you, I'd let the good sister here bless you before you go in there. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Bless you, my son, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Joe, you head for the mausoleum. I'm going to head down for the crosses. And ready with me if you need help. You got it? All right. God is with you. God is with you both. Is anybody there? in there.
Joey? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, my God, I killed her. Oh, my God. And you shall know me, for I shall cast out demons in his name. And I shall speak in tongues of angels. I rebuke and bind thee, Satan. Get away, that's not Zoe. And you shall know me, Satan, the Lord thy God. And you shall reside at the foot of the cross for all days until you are summoned and you shall be cast into the bottomless pit. to you now, Sally. All right, take it. Everything's gonna be all right, okay? I promise. Everything's gonna be all right.
You want to go home? I told you you were special. Take us home. Zoe liked to say the dead talk to us in our sleep. I hope she was right. Because Martha often came to me, talked with me, but from then on, only in the night when I was dreaming. Never would I see her face again running amongst the heather and vine of Mount Moriah Cemetery. Others claimed to see her, and the truth and the fiction of what began here in our little town became blurred with the passing years. Most made her out as some demon. And that was sad. But I knew she was an angel sent by God to protect me. At the time, I thought this was an end for me in the events surrounding her death. But the reality was, this was just my initiation into a lifetime, battling the forces of evil as I sought to discover God's plan for me. And my place in his kingdom. The reality was, it was just the beginning.